Hey guys, this is Amber from Happy Caravan. I'm a mom of 11 kids and we live in New York City. And I'm gonna show y'all what we eat in a week. This is Wednesday. This is the first day of our food week because we go shopping on Tuesday. And we just had our um, baby number 11 really like, recently. So she's two weeks, two and a half weeks old. Miss Pearl's helping me take care of her. So we're trying to do easy-ish meals. Meals that we have like tried and true. That we've tested and they're good. So we are having tacos today, which is an easy tried and true meal. So anyway, Elijah's, most of the kids have already eaten, but Elijah's showing us his beautiful taco. But I get these um, corn and, I don't know if we have any packages left. It's corn and wheat together tortillas. They're super yummy. And we just serve it with ground beef. Here's your ground beef. And also we have lettuce, we have some black beans and cheese. And of course, salsa. This is one of our favorite Trader Joe's sal salsas, pico de gallo. So, easy eating when you have a new baby. <laughs> Here's mama's food. <laughs> Channeling my uh, San Diego self. <laughs> Good stuff. Hey guys, welcome to Thursday. Got a little net in tow here. We are making broccoli cheddar soup and Pearl actually made it earlier today. Thank you, Pearl. Oh, it. it's, it's still cooking. So it is the, what, most famous or something? Broccoli yeah, yeah. cheddar soup. I didn't like our last recipe. So this is the, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> not most famous. The almost famous broccoli cheddar soup. It's um, some cooks basically try to recreate the broccoli cheddar soup from Panera Bread, which is supposed to be very good. So hopefully this one's better. I feel like the last one we used to make wasn't rich enough. It just had milk. It didn't have half and half. This one has half and half. It has cheese. So hopefully it will be. You want to talk to talk about it, Mo? <laughs> Hey, Mo. Uh, he wants some cheese. He wants the cheese. You can ask um, So hopefully it will be richer. That was something we were missing the last time. I was trying not to cheese. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I will let you know if it's almost famous <laughs> in our house. So Miss Pearl is using the immersion blender to get it all smooth. Put the broccoli and the carrots in there. So we'll see if it's we'll see if it's all it's cracked up to be. We're trying the soup. Miss Ned is not going to try the soup, but she's, <laughs> she's just here for the ambiance. For candy work, she'll have to tell me if she likes her effort. Right. Did you try it yet, Jason? Yes, I did. I have a slotted spoon, so I hope to do it. Very good. It's, better it's about, I don't know, I'd say uh, 10 times better than the last <laughs> version okay, we ate. Okay, so it's a winner winner. It's, yeah, it's a good one. Okay, so this is from foodnetwork.com. Almost famous broccoli cheddar soup. So it is, in fact, much better. So it's a winner. Okay, so we're going to give it the try here. Mm, yes. Much more, um, much more flavorful and much, much richer than the other version. So what do you think, Miss Santa? She's going to have it secondhand. <laughs> Is it good? Hey guys, welcome to Friday night. We are having my mom's tuna noodle casserole. It actually has condensed soup in it, the cream of mushroom soup, but we're using something we found in the store called Annie's Natural, so it's organic, and it doesn't have like the laundry list of ingredients that the Campbell's soup does, so hopefully it's better. Anyway, we have our little Netta, she's sleeping. <laughs> well, and the big kids are leaving for a movie, and they'll come back and probably eat it when we get back. Here is the, it just has like celery and onions and 
peas, tuna, yeah. salt, pepper, and butter. Yeah, so it's kind of simple. And then, here's the noodles, the tuna noodle casserole. I'm always enjoying some frozen peas. Feels good? Okay, so the tuna noodle casserole is out, and this is what it looks like. He's always having a bottle. <laughs> He's over there fussing. Um, and it looks good. So we'll give it a try. It doesn't have quite the consistency of the Campbell soup, but it still looks really good. So there's Mo's little bowl. He's wandering around. <laughs> The other kids are still at the movie. So, and then I think Melody and Enoch are playing upstairs. It's hard to get them to stop playing. They like to play. And they're sweet little Nata. Daddy's giving mom a break and feeding her for me. She's in that I'm hungry all the time stage. Which means you're growing. I'm are hungry, growing? mama. Nice, we have, um, I think it's the 100, was it 101 Dalmatians with Rolly? Yeah. I'm hungry, mama. I'm really hungry. <laughs> it's kind of like that. So giving it a try. Hmm. Wow. It's actually good. So the organic soup worked. So Josiah's trying the tuna noodle casserole. What's your verdict? Well, it's one of my favorite meals because it's a good mix of I don't know tuna and cheese. But this is a that. different. This is a different recipe. It's my mom's uh, recipe. Wait, so the one that you made that uh, they made before was not her, her recipe? No. Yeah. Well, it's good. They're both good. This one's easier. Mm -hmm. You like it? Quite. <laughs> so Josiah's fine food review encouraged Moses to get in his seat and try some. There you go, buddy. It's really good. It's good. No. You should try it. No. Came home from Here shopping. Yeah, so we <laughs> narrated <laughs> for you. Aw, thank Hopefully. you. <laughs> it's, it's all messy in here. All of our stuff in here. <laughs> all of our presents. Hey guys, welcome to Saturday night. It is a Saturday before Christmas Eve. So we're having bean burritos as usual on Saturday, but we're also having these really yummy cookies. So. Naomi, uh, yeah, pearls, pearls making. Naomi helped me with those stuff. What are these? Uh, these are peanut butter, peanut butter, butter with the Hershey oh, Kisses. Oh, Hershey Kisses, yes. I forget what they're called. So it is going to be a very sweet holiday. Josiah <laughs> is making a, uh, he's making a, a how to make uh, eggnog video for your channel, right, Josiah? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Or for your Instagram, I guess. What do you think? Mm, yummy. Yeah. We've got some holly, too. There's no sugar in this, right? There's sugar in it. Oh. Here's the cookie update here. Looks so good. <laughs> oh, Pearl did those. Yeah, they're so beautiful. What are you making? Um, um, buttermilk. Buttermilk, okay. It's kind of like a shortbread cookie. Mm. I shouldn't be drinking this. Underage drinking? <laughs> yeah, don't drink too much. It's a little, it's a little. Let me ask. Okay, let me see. Hey, did Moses have a... Thankfully, it's not very much alcohol in there, but I guess that's your way the originally made eggnog. Is that true, you said? Uh, close to it, yes. That's okay. what they used to make it in the 18th century. It's just the 1933 New York cocktail version. Okay. <laughs> so 18th century eggnog, guys. Your glasses are very cute. Where do these pretty glasses come from? Uh, they're from eBay. They're, um, they're an older brand, but they're not. They're like faux fancy. Faux, faux fancy? They're so cute, though. Faux uh, crystal. They're so pretty nice. Yeah. And then our friend, who used to live downstairs, Kiseko, she gave us some yummy treats from Japan. They're strawberry long de chat, which I think in French means cat tongue. But they definitely taste better than that. You like those, Mo? Are they good? 
friend and friend. Hey guys, welcome to Sunday night. It is Christmas Eve. Want another and so cracker? We are having a Christmas Eve party. Yeah. Here. With crackers and veggies. This is my mom's veggie dip. And we have my mom's cracker ball and some veggies. And um, so this is, is this the golden yogurt? Yeah. Uh, so my mom, when I was growing up, she used to make like a little fruit plate. We don't really have grapes, but this is basically this lemon yogurt. We're gonna put some sweet and coconut on it for a dip. And here's our cheese ball. And then in the oven, we have some pigs in a blanket. And then also we make some little chicken wings. And this is the sauce we put on it. So la choy sweet and sour sauce makes it kind of fancy. Coconut on there to make the dip fancy. I did. Okay, so we got our pizza rolls, and also this is the plum pudding for tomorrow that Josiah made. He's, he's a very British theme. Oh, and I forgot to talk about our cookies. We have these um, pretty peanut butter cookies, and then I think here, it's the coffee bars and fudge. coffee bars and fudge. Yum. Wait, <laughs> This is a toffee bar. Um, that's fudge. And then I have the. Maybe you want me to do a peanut butter cookies over there too. And butter melts. <laughs> and these chocolate glacier cookies. We're well, uh, well treated today. We see them. Monday night, we are having Christmas dinner. So we're having a um, pork roast. This is my mom's cranberry pork roast. And it's smelling so good. And we got boiling potatoes for mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts. Um, we're also gonna make a salad and the girls made us some raspberry jello, which is super yummy. So after Christmas excitement, we're out here. <laughs> home while Mark just got home from Costco. We're having Costco pizza and salad. 